Good evening everybody, welcome to another Bear Beer Review. Tonight's beer that we have on hand is one by Omnipolo, who you may remember from my birthday beer. Now, this looks like an unusual bottle label. Uh, number one, because it's actually in Swedish, and number two, because it, you might see it's actually a recipe for how you make the beer. How awesome is that? Now, the story behind this, and behind Omnipolo too, is that I believe there were homebrewers before they started uh, producing commercially and bottling the beers and sitting out becoming one of my favourite breweries. So what they've done is they've produced a book on home brewing um, called Brigt. I hope that's how you pronounce it right, but we call called Brigt. Same name as this beer. Uh, and I, I, unfortunately I don't read Swedish so I couldn't tell whether it's a good book or not, but if you do read Swedish or if you want to use a translator on it then I'm sure it'll be extremely helpful and useful because their beers are of fantastic quality and I, I, I really really wish that, well I really hope that an English version comes out or maybe I'll just have to get around to it and learn Swedish. So what they've done in to commemorate the release of their book is they've brewed this beer with the recipe on the front of it. The idea being that you should go out and try it yourself. They've even got things like, um, you see they've got the original gravity and final gravity, um, bits and bobs like that, how many IBUs should be in it. Plenty of information, everything you'll need to know to reproduce this beer, if you so wish. Um, speaking of which, I should probably mention that it is 10% uh, in alcohol, which you might be able to see there, 10% alcohol, and it is an Imperial Stout. So, without further ado, let's crack it up and give it a try, and see if we want to reproduce this in my home brewing arena. Oh, we missed the glass. There it is. So, there's a little bit of steam coming off the top of it, so it's nicely carbonated, to say the least. Let's pour it out. Oh, there was a nice glug on it. It's really, it, 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 it's pouring really slowly. It's like it's got viscosity to it in abundance. Right, well, for a start, look at that. How dark is that? I've never seen a head on a beer come out of that dark ever in my entire beer drinking life. And that's saying something. It, it looks deceptively bright on the camera, but I can assure you this is, this is as close to milk chocolate as you're going to get. Good three, maybe even four finger head, but that's probably more during my pour. It's been a long day at work, uh, and it's completely pitch black. Completely pitch black, maybe just a little bit of ruby coming around the edges, um, but not much in the way of that at all. So let's go in for aromas while we wait for the head to go down, because I poured such a massive one on it. Speaking of which, look at the head, it's sticking around, it's not moving, it's like solid. I reckon I could pop it and nothing would happen to it. Maybe, maybe not. So, aromas. Oh, it's really, really rich in chocolate, this one. Chocolate and kind of roast flavours too. Um, I can smell the alcohol in it too, actually. Oh, you can smell how alcohol it is, yeah. Just if you really inhale, it gets it right at the back of the nose. This kind of uh, aggressive alcohol tones. But mainly roast and chocolate and a bit of like dark fruit in it too. It, it smells quite typical, quite typically. Uh, Imperial style, that's definitely not a bad thing. Um, I'm sure that's something, you know, it'd be, it'd be kind of worse if it smelt, I don't know, like a Belgian cherry beer when it looks like that. I might be slightly confused and slightly wary of a beer. So, in terms of smell and aroma, it, it's really abundant. And I actually, I might add, it's really pungent. Um, last night we did Oakum Citra, which is an amazing beer, but the aroma on that's quite subdued. This one, I can smell it coming off the bottle when I pop the top of the bottle. So it's a really pungent Imperial Stout aroma. Um, the head's not going down, so we're just going to have to get our noses mucky. Let's get in there and give it a try. Cheers. Oh. Wow. That's really intense. Really distilled flavour in this one. Uh, I'm gonna have to go in again for another one. Mm. Wow, I'm getting such deep, rich and complicated. Like you get this super rich chocolate, like the deepest, darkest chocolate you can find. I'm talking like 85% dark cocoa chocolate straight up on the palate, followed by, followed by kind of a dark fruit flavour that then escalates into a coffee 
really rich and intense coffee and that coffee bitterness comes after it too and it's an, ex an intensely bitter beer, an intensely bitter beer uh, I can tell you precisely the IBU is because they mention it on the side of the bottle 62.5 and the final gravity is 10.25 so it's a very sweet beer um, because of the final gravity uh, and the IBU is not as high as I thought it would be actually considering how stringent it feels but it's almost like, uh, and I mentioned it before and I've said it before but like a, a teaspoon of instant coffee in the mouth that sort of way that dries out the palate actually now I've tried it for a second time there's fruity aromas and spruce yesters come through a bit more um, kind of plum like flavours um, just kind of th through the nose, yeah, when you breathe it back through the nose you get that. Uh, in terms of body it is thick and it is rich, I mean it, it's a real chunky mother, it's like uh, it's like drinking jelly, it's super thick, super rich, uh, it's nice to carbonate so it kind of fizzles across the tongue. Oh. Oh, it's, it's magnificent, it, it's super Super drinkable as well, considering it's ten percent and considering it's so heavy. The the alcoholic kapow of this, and it is alcoholic. It is a ten percent beer. Uh, you really couldn't tell. You really couldn't tell until probably halfway through the glass when you start reeling a bit. And I am sinking this. I might add as well. It's 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 absolutely gorgeous, and that's probably a testament to this beer that it is such a full on flavour, I mean it's, it's intense, it's distilled, it's a real distilled flavour it, it's it's not often that you get a beer like this that, that I mean it's absolutely overpowering, the whole tongue is just wanting more, it's so full of flavour, it's like someone's got a big pinch of salt into a casserole or something, it just boosts it, everything just seems boosted and elevates it and to repeat it again you know, this is the recipe for it. I'm definitely going to have to try this one. This could be another Bear Beer special. This could be me trying to brew this beer. I mean, everything in this is uh, Columbus, East Kent Goldings, and uh, they're using Safal USO5 East. Everything in here is pretty easily grabbable. I'm guessing rock malt is roasted malt, chocolate malt, I'm guessing that's chocolate malt, caramel malt, I'm guessing is a caramel malt, <laughs> roasted corn, molasses. I haven't got a clue who the two are, but uh, Pale Ale Malt and Marisota 2. I'm sure they won't mind me showing you it. So if I show everyone out there, this is the list of ingredients that you'll need to produce this beer, if you so wish. Go out there and give it a shot yourself. I mean, why the heck not? Why the heck not? It's such a good beer, and, and seeing that they're being so kind and sharing the recipe, it seems a shame that you should produce it yourself. Alright, so enough waffling. What's a rating for this beer? Oh, I'm so tempted to go to a nine and a half. In fact, I will. It's bloody magnificent. It's bloody magnificent. Uh, on, over the past weekend, gone the one where I went to Leeds International Beer Fest. Went out on the Friday night to say a little goodbye to Matt, the brewer that I've replaced in the Hop Studio, and we went out and we tried um, an Imperial Stout that was aged in uh, whiskey casks. I believe, I want to say Orkney, Orkney Brewery, but I think I'm wrong, um, I'll have to find out. We tried a, tried an Imperial Stout, it was, uh, I think it was another 10% one, or it might have been, might have been higher than that. Uh, but this is equally up there, and that, that one's an award winning beer, the one that we tried, and it was so super rich and, and deep, and this one's definitely up there, and I'd give that a 9.5, 9 in fact I think I did on on uh, Untapped. So this, this stands up there, this is one of the best Imperial Stouts I've ever had. Um, definitely, definitely. Mm. I wish I had another 10 bottles of it. So I'm going to stop waffling now. Go out there, check out Omnipolo's book, Brugged. Brugged even. Go check out this beer if you can find it. Brugged as well. Tell me what you think if you've ever had it before. Tell me what you think if you're going to try it. If you're interested in the book or anything, I'm sure I could pop up a link for it. And uh, like, favourite, comment, subscribe. Same as usual. And I'll see you all again on the next Bear Beer Review. Cheers.